find. Calm. All right. So Freud's bones again, and uh, somehow I didn't save. So I have to. I'm gonna speed run through this part again. All right, and that should have us uh, back to where I was. I think I did everything the same. I like clicked in a mad frenzy through through all of the dialogue. Um, I gotta figure out how to save because that will be useful if I want to make multiple videos. But <clears throat> I'm I'm ready to dive into uh, Freud's mind again. I've got a bottle of Coke with me, which I think is appropriate, and uh, ready to get I don't know judgmental. Uh, um, kind-hearted. Um, okay, click on the notebook. Ah, oh, this. Uh, Dr. Freud's notebook contains his most inner thoughts. You can consult it to check his emotional state. Ah, great. Whoa. Uh, you can read the official telegrams and the private letters of your friend in the mail section. Okay. You can also choose whether to answer or not. Ah, uh, that reminds me of another game I've played called Left on Red. Hmm, an idea, methinks. Um, you can manage Dr. Freud's... There's a lot you can do with this. You can manage Dr. Freud's finance in the wallet section. Uh, the way you decide how to invest uh, your money, or his money. Is it my money? Hmm. Uh, will always have consequences. Love it. Uh, you can now you can throw away your money at night cafes, buying fashionable outfits, and so much more. Or you can be righteous and donate everything to your big family. I'm just gonna say to charity, but big family is good too. You can consult and monitor the section dedicated to familiar relationships. Oh, God, the ego section. Oh, that's right. The Freud. Uh, the, the, what are the the ego and the ultra ego or something like that? I don't remember. Um, the ego section changes based on many variables, the fame you earn, the books you sell, the number of patients, and my journal's articles. Fame you earn, books, a lot of shit going on. Like, this is, is a, turning out to be a bigger game. I thought it was, not, this is turning out a bigger game than I expected from, uh, from how I got to know it, or how I got to know it. And, uh, kind of intro part I didn't realize that there's gonna be all this added to it okay so the methods bars vary based on your on the, your therapeutic decisions and you the Knox bar indicates as you use a strictly didactic and technical approach didactic is that like speech like uh, dictated I don't know um, the cardio bar increases as you use compassionate and emotional approaches to your patients. The katabasi bar increases as you deepen the symbolic and a word that I don't know, on miracle aspect? Jesus. A miracle. I gotta look that up. Um, the dawn peeps on another day that may be worth anything or nothing. My gut. Migraine. A real thorn in my skull. Yeah, that sounds sounds about right. Better start my day with a hot black coffee. Although I would take it with a bit of magic dust to regain strength. A bit of magic dust, eh? Um, coffee actually does to help with um. I don't know if it helps with migraines, but I've I've found it to help uh, with with headaches, and I've heard. That it acts as a catalyst for um, NSAIDs. Is that what it is? Like um, Advil or Tylenol and stuff like that. I assume Dr. Freud just thinks I'm a bad dream. Reminds him, yeah. Not a bad dream. I'm here forever, Freud. Uh, good morning, my devoted puppet. Uh, he liked that one. I've been fighting against myself for years. You're just a little. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I'm just a little tip compared to his other psychological fights. Head to the phone and communicate with Mina. Okay, you've... <sighs> Gotta do it. Freud has... Who is this? Good morning, Mina. Um, wait, so am I... 
Am I speaking as her, or am I speaking as him? I must be speaking as him, because it wouldn't make sense for me to speak. How are you this morning? Compassion. Hope. Uh, I'm pretty good, even if I would have heard some company last night. I would have preferred your company last night, too. Uh... Wait. Uh... What do you want for breakfast? The first patient of the day will be here in a moment. Uh... It's the difference between bitter coffee and black coffee. It more bitter than black coffee. Um, I feel like sustenance is good. Let's get the orange cake too, even if it is just cake. Black coffee with orange cake, please. That's perfect. Oh, and I almost forgot. I've got mail. You've got mail. Um, perfect as usual. Uh, okay, five minutes later. Click to continue. Just stood in the same spot for five minutes. That's a psychoanalyst right there. Uh, to read the letter, click on the letter icon on the left hand bar. Okay, great. Wait, where's my map? Uh, okay. Dr. Doctor, Doctor J. V. Bernays. Dear Freud, I'm writing this short but heartfelt letter to introduce you to the woman. Introduce. You to the woman I sent to your office, Elsa Kovacs. Elsa is a very special creature, and I want you to know that, unfortunately, my efforts to cure her have failed. Cold baths, electroshocks, use of chloral and bromide, massages, everything was made in vain. Relying on your wise care and your innovative methods, hoping to have good news about her after your treatment. I actually heard that electroshock is still, um, uh, though I think it's vastly different from how it used to be, but it's still a, a uh, treatment for depression and possibly, and it's uh, with some success, where with, I don't know, I'm not a doctor, but I've heard it's successful and still used. Mm. I admire dedications of some doctors, but this concern, uh, Doctor, I don't trust doctors who are too apprehensive. What else was he supposed to do? I wanted to say uh, words of this doctor reveal affection. Affection or fear, we'll see. Uh, you also have a letter to open, but I just opened it. Um, what? I can't find. Peace. Writing and erasing. I don't know where to start from the train of my thoughts breaks as reason takes over. There's something strange about this letter. Oh, um, instead I wish the flame in my chest which lights up to the thought of that afternoon could speak. I've always admired the fierce elegance of your silence. And this very silence brought me to you. I wanted you to know... I want, I want, I wanted to know what was hidden in that fog. A woman surrounded by men tends to rise up or to perish. You seem floating. Our touch has aroused fantasies in me. Oh boy. Will you come to Rome? I'll be here. In this city full of colors and sounds. For two more weeks and I don't want to just take care of my mother. I want to absorb this place. I want your shadow to follow me. Huh. Hey. Okay. Next. I can't put it down. I must examine, examine it completely. He's obsessed. He's overthinking. Um, am I supposed to be examining it more completely? I don't know. I don't know what else I'm supposed to be looking for in this complete examination. Um, I think she sounds. Or it's a Lou. He? Uh, I don't know. Likes me. Thanks. Right, I have to examine it. 
What did you? I do. What am I supposed to? Fu oh, okay. Rome, suffocating heat, mosquitoes, good wine, and bursting sexuality. Terrific. But why is Lou Saloma? Did I do that accent? Saloma, in Italy. Um, where I don't know. Where else is he supposed to be? Can't find peace. Writing and erasing. I don't know where to start from the train. My thoughts breaks as reason takes takes over. Instead, I wish I have my chest, which lights up. Is it? Oh, well, what does that mean? Did I miss something? Um. Uh, okay. I can't. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, which it's a afternoon what after oh the thought of that afternoon so there's an afternoon that he remembers about the two of us maybe that i don't remember so he likes me more than i like him sorry to say uh i could speak i've always admired the fierce elegance of your silence and the very silence brought me to you i wanted to know what was hidden in the fog a woman a woman what woman damn it lou you were great charm and your emancipation make you uncatchable. That makes no sense. Your great charm and your emancipation do I take to mean freedom? Does his charm and his freedom make him uncatchable? Does that mean to say that it makes him too good for... I don't know. Who knows? You're attracted by every mind and shade, whether masculine or feminine, right? Your eyes have perished, you seem floating, our touches aroused fantasies. What fantasies? Well, who loves adventuring into the, these paths more than me? I don't know, man. Oh, that's it, okay. Uh, the letter is just to uh, Freud. A bit of romance will somewhat disrupt your grayness, Sigmund. Uh, the letter is just straight for There is something intriguing between your beloved daughter and your. Wait, what? Oh, because that's A. Freud would be my daughter. That's what, right? I, the letter, uh, I'm just gonna say, shut up. Yeah, you, you don't really think that I have a sore spot like that. But this doesn't mean I thought they could follow up. Lou Salome. Oh, this is, this is a woman, my god. Uh, uh, my god, of course. With a, these words, I'm like, crepuscular. Uh, Crepuscular, looking it up, of or uh, resembling or relating to twilight. Huh. Still don't know how to make sense of that. A woman with a relating to twilight fascination. Is that literal or is there something? Is that subtext? Um, she's a great mind, a female kindness, and, and a masculine passion. But Anna, she. Ba -ba -ba -ba. That's enough. I won't go on for your personal sadistic pleasure. Now let's take a look at the medical record. Okay. The clinical record of the patient contains all the basic medical information that you need to solve the case. This is like a mystery game? Jesus. It's gonna require some brain power. Uh, the available... It's gonna require some coke. Uh, the available sections increase as the the clinical case progresses. The question mark sections contain all the secrets of this profession. Click on the question mark to read the instructions. Where's the question? Ah. Where are my instructions? Oh, this question mark. Okay. <laughs> um, documents. You can find the medical certificates, letters from relatives, Personal letters are filed. Um, consult the documents to verify the truthfulness of what the patients tell you. Okay, okay, okay. Notes, you can keep track of the development of your thesis on the patient. When you reach a conclusion, click the confirm button. Oh boy. Uh, diagnosis, you can confirm your diagnosis by putting Freud's sealing wax stamp at the end of a course of treatment. Okay, so what do we have? Professor, doctor, or wait. So Elsa Kovacs, my first patient of the age, age 24, she's Hungarian, unmarried. Uh, her father is Frank Kovacs, 
and her mother is Anne of Cork. Residence uh, uh, Ringstrasse 77. Um, what do I do? Green light? Whoa. Hmm. Despite the fact that I still can't believe I'm, a, I'm allowing Dickenfer, I believe it's appropriate that before you dive into the therapy session, uh, you must learn the basics of my controversial but brilliant theory. Okay. What an arrogant Jew, I know you're thinking. Well, no, but that's okay. Uh, if I hadn't protected myself from the skeptics with my weapon, I'd still be dissecting fish brains by now. Okay. Come on, follow me. And an encyclopedia is an essential tool for real analysts. Salt the vocabulary section to look into different terms used. In the clinical cases section, you'll find history of women and men who gave birth to psychoanalysis. Okay. And salt the theory section to know my visionary theories on the human mind. In the text section, you can collect some of my most famous writings and use them to solve faster my clinical cases. Remember, the more attention you'll give to the analysis of the encyclopedia, the higher the chance to solve successfully my clinical cases. Click now on the theory page for your first insights. Oh my god, that's a minotaur with a marionette and a soldier pointing to the marionette. And the minotaur is on high heels. And a corset. Uh, click on the elements of the drawing to find out more. The hungry minotaur. Uh, the idea is a shell. Wait, so is the idea his name? The idea is a shell of a vital and self destructive energy. The idea is unconscious, impersonal, and lacks logic, abstract thought, and morality. It is a space where expressive uh, potentialities are formed. The idea is chaotic, turbulent combination of the individual's sexual urges. Is that why? I don't know. Uh, they are extremely powerful and if repressed using the defense missiles, they change, but they do not go away. Okay. Uh, the marionette. The ego. Okay. The ego is this. So this is the ID. And then the ego. The ego is the core of consciousness. This is the part of the ID modified by the influence. So is this the symbol for the modification uh, of, through influence and proximity to the external world? So that's uh, not only it mediates in the conflicts between ID and external world. The ego must also take into account the super egos. Pressing request, pushing, pushed by the ID, tightened by the super ego. Okay, so pushed by the ID and tightened. I'm guessing this is the super ego, uh, and rejected by the reality. The ego fights to figure out how to establish harmony between the energies, which react inside and on itself, so we can understand why very often we can't help but saying life's not easy. Okay, super ego. Yes, the general without. Wait, is it this one. Puppet whose dreams are okay. So it's puppet and it's the general without mer mercy is the super ego. The super ego is the set of social prohibit prohibitions uh, the, uh, felt by the mind as constriction uh, and impediment to the satisfaction of pleasure. A set of strictures which regulates the transitions from the ID to the ego. The superego is born inside the child, originally free from any moral principle due to the influence of parents. So the superego born is really free from moral. Interesting. Okay, so the superego assimilates social laws and punishes the ego through guilt when it does not obey these laws. Okay, I feel like I'm getting kind of a grasp. What is the difference between green and brown? Brown seems to be next, and green seems to be, I have no idea. 
Uh, don't make me look bad. Don't throw away my hard years of studying with your naivety. But most of all, don't give in to your first time panic. Thank you. I won't. Uh, do you want to start the therapy session? Yes. Elsa Kovex. Uh, so this is new. Oh, this is okay. So I'm at my desk now. Where's my uh, my cigar? Um, what, Egyptian statue clock thingos, thingos, and more thingos and many thingos. Me and Elsa. Okay. Psychoanalysis has a complex and difficult aim, facing the obscure power of the ID to bring the ego back into power. You'll have to be an archaeologist and an investigator, a patient, a host, and a cruel general. Every patient sits on his or her mind just as the thinker sits on his planet, okay? Your task is bringing to light the hidden meaning of their thoughts, uh, of their unsaid emotions. This is rather interesting. The drowned sorrows. The therapeutic relationship bar shows the transfert level. It's the agreement or disagreement between you and the patient. Uh, you have to keep an eye on the patient's stress if you don't want him to go away prematurely, okay? Your, your experience points are added up here. Compiled a uh, level, you'll have, to, you'll have the chance to unlock a new tool, okay? A polygraph. Uh, well, I'm moving up too fast. Ask your opening question choosing field analysis. The rhythm of the voice, the tone. Let's start. Uh, look at these documents first. Um, well, uh, I'll give it for a blankest psychiatry. So it's a psychiatry uh, um, institution. Chloral hydrate is good for decreasing the excitement. Suspend as soon as you and as soon as you recognize in time. So this is a prescription. You need to take bromide five six times a day and chloral hydrate. Um, as soon as I recognize intolerance. Um, uh, wine hospital. Uh, the woman has multiple great wounds of different size and depth. Damage report accidental, so she's got accidental uh, damage. Um, Asians inconsistent with the woman's description of what happened, okay? She's maybe making, maybe she's embarrassed about what actually happened or fearful about uh, why it happening again. I don't know. It's, it's, I mean, it seems possible, it seems likely, referring to this, that she is not being truthful about uh, her wounds. A visit to psychiatrist recommended no damage to tension nerves. Copious bleeding. Wait, so does this mean no copious bleeding or no damage to tendons and nerves? And there was copious bleeding. Removal of glass fragments. Next. And my blank made sweet burns in me, and stroke after stroke, my blank is sad and bloody. My gray nervous hands. Can. Okay, uh, caustic is the sound of thoughts. Then, when I swallowed my dreams with blank, it turned around after 30 or 40 cups. Talking about alcohol? Um, and then uh, I gathered myself to give rent. And I gathered myself to give vert. Vert? To the. Acrim acrimonious need. I want to pour into you like a poison, slice the bones, nailing me with plank 
to the blank of your blind soul. Cooled fear, the endless nausea, sleepiness, the cool fear, the endless nausea, the sleepiness, the cool fear. Uh, so, father, mother, uh, sister, who's dead, uh, brother, and her. Uh, Alright, so I can't go into notes. Okay. Uh, and I click. Um, start with family, I suppose. My family, uh, slow, start slow, uh, slow, calm, and uh, yes, how do I activate, send it. Welcome, Mrs. Mrs. Kovacs. Before we start, I have to inform you that in this studio I am bounded by the strict Professional secrecy, nothing that you'll tell me will be disclosed. It'll be the only, I'll be the only listener of your words, don't worry. First of all, I'd like you to tell me your family's history and your relationship with your loved ones. Please proceed calmly and accurate. I need this information to draw on your psychological profile. Start as you feel comfortable. Uh... Oh, Dr. Freud, you decided to surprise me positively today. There are many stories about you in the major part. Ray is a cynical and detached man. Today, you show me that you must never give credit to certain rumors exactly. I was born hungry and I spent most of my youth in a subtle state of grace. Two years ago, my beloved father got a severe heart disease and died in my arms. Oh my gosh. I spent the entire time uh, of his cavalry to his bedside, waking up every night at the slightest hint of, did say lameness? Uh, he was very cultured and sensitive, despite the fact that, that he defined me as a rebel woman, he knew me better than anyone else. I miss him deeply. I crawl as a ghost in the corridors of a co country house on the margins of society my brother-in-law ruled our destiny after my father's death and he brought us far from the city what else can i say my mom is almost completely blind and she needs my help constantly although i appreciate his courtesy i want to make clear that i'm not spoiled and bored bourgeois Girl, I'm not looking for attention. I don't want you to forget your clinical purpose discovering the values of my illness. You want to drink tea and playing with dolls boost during the confidence now that it doesn't work on me. You showed great self-denial during these past years. I only made a necessary sacrifice. The waver of lightheartedness must have left a deep wound inside you. Women like me are condemned to an eternal bleeding of the soul to help others. Uh, exchange your expression, what does that mean? Yes. Um, now if you'll let me, I'd like to investigate other fields. Uh, how do I save my game? I'm worried. I feel like this is a good... Well, not a great spot, but I feel like it probably ends here for now. Uh, I guess I don't know how long this is gonna take. Well, have a good one. <laughs>